up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Uh, I'm going to bring you a lesson on the major pentatonic and how, if you've been looking at the other lessons on soloing, you actually already know the fingering. So I'm going to show you how you can plug in something you hopefully already know to get a completely different sound. So I'm excited to show you. Also, thanks for supporting uh, me right here at Marty Music, subscribing, spreading the word. Appreciate that so much. But enough of that. Let's dig in to the major pentatonic. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to review the C major pentatonic scale. And I'm picking that because it's the exact same positioning, same notes, uh, same fingering as the A minor pentatonic scale. But here's the difference. When I play the A minor pentatonic scale, my A note of that scale on that pool of notes, the A note feels like home bass. So... played over like an A blues or an A minor chord. You know? But when you play that exact, exact same scale, but you think of the C note in there as the home bass, and it's played over a sweet major sounding C major chord progression, I play that A minor scale, but I think of the C notes as major, which would be the pinky on the C note there. And then the index finger on the fifth of the G right here, that's a C. And then pinky right there on the eighth of the high E, that's a C again. So hear that. And there's a term for kind of how that works, and it's called the relative major. So C major is always the relative major of A minor. And A minor is always the relative minor of C major. So in other words, they're kind of the, um, if you've watched that new show, Stranger Things, it's like they're like the upside, upside down versions of each other, the like a mirror reflection that's like one's the sad version and one's the happy version. So, in conclusion, you could have a thing that goes like this. When you hear a sweet sounding progression and you find the root, for instance, uh, if it was a D major progression. And minor pentatonics can be too dark for that. I can put my pinky on the root, which for that progression real quick was D major. And I would put my pinky there, and then I could plug in the shape. And it's a whole new world, new licks to learn. The scales use differently because it's through a different context. But fingering-wise, it's the exact same. So let's go back to the C major pentatonic scale. Pinky on the C note. And then... Index goes below it to the fifth fret. That note's in the scale, but it's not the root anymore because we're thinking of it as C major. I'm just emphasizing that's how you plug it in. And then you have the root again right here. And then you have the root again right there. So the extended scale that we learned in A minor would work the exact same way, but the C notes are still the root. So there's a really nice run that you can do major form and your index finger, you can see the C major chord right there and you can see the C root right there. So you do that, you do that exact same run, but we're playing it as C major now. So check it out. That's the root, but I'd have three, five, root, five, so. And then slide up to the seven. And then five, seven, root again is the C. 
seven, slide that up. Eight, ten, eight, ten. So now you have a whole new scale to learn without having to learn a new fingering or even a new run to get some nice slides. All those same juicy spots are going to work, but what you want to do is practice that over a C major progression. A great one to practice, I think of like the Allman Brothers' Blue Sky, but it doesn't have to be that song, but you know, it's a little, it's used in country a lot. So if you had just like a C major to an F major. So watch how it sounds over that C to F. So the C notes there feel like home bass. up there a little bit but that's a, a great progression to just start getting the feel of it it's definitely like i said a, a, a heavily country used scale um we're just using it for that sweet sound you know bb king used the major pentatonic john mary uses it um slash uses it all the different greats use it as you know uh srv song lenny is all e major pentatonic so I'm just starting with C major because it happens to share the exact same thing as A minor, including the runs. So that would mean that if we already know the A minor pentatonic extended scale with the root on the E string, and we already knew the A minor pentatonic extended with the root on the A string, that means we also know it for C major. And actually, if you know, start figuring out how to plug it in, you know it for every major. But so check it out. The A minor pentatonic with the root on the A strings right here. Just so happens that pinky note is the C. And then the C's right there on the 13 of the B. So that would mean that you'd also have 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, slid up to 14, 12, 14, and then index on the 13, 15, and then that slid up, and then 15, 17, and then finally, the final C note we can play on the guitar 17, 18, 19, 20. So you'd have the lowest C possible. And then the very highest C possible. And all the same bends where it would be normally minor is gonna still be very tasteful and sound really nice in its major form. So I'm gonna play that C major to F major jam track again and just play through those shapes a couple of times slowly through the shapes. Then I'll start to improvise with them and you can see how it works. Here's the root right there. Now, real quick, when you do the A root version that, that I was just showing you, 
when we play it in the major form, there's a beautiful little slide right below it that we wouldn't do normally in minor. And remember, we're playing the C major pentatonic. So when we do the A rooted one, I just forgot to mention this earlier, this is important. The straight up home row E root C, you can hit that, so that's eight. And then you go a whole step up with your ring finger, 10, then slide that up a whole step to 12. Now you're in that A rooted run that we have only learned as the A minor pentatonic. So root for major, just for major, C major, C major chord, there's the root, ring finger whole step, slide whole step. Now I'm in that little three note box. Oops, sorry. And then you keep going. 14, 12, 14, 13, 15, 15, 17, 15, 17, and then 20 is the root.
that was the same thing, an octave up. So here that here it is one more time. This is all the C major pentatonic, which is the exact same fingering, the exact same notes as the A minor pentatonic. Root is right there. So then you'd have three, five, three, five, slide to seven, five, seven, five, seven, slide to nine. 8, 10, 8, 10, slide to 12. And then back down, 12, 10, 8, 10, 8, 9, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 5, slide with the ring. Root is a third, 5, 3, 5, root. And then you'd have the E root of that, 8, 10 slide to 12 then you have this little box of 10 12 10 12 10 12 slide to 14 on the D 12 to 14 on the G 13 on the B which is the root and you have all the sweet a lot of slash kind of stuff there 15 17 on the B 15 to 17 on the high E. And then you way up top on the 20, we have the root again. And that is the same pinky thing that we were doing with this home row. And the run too. Literally out of frets on that bend up. there was the lesson hopefully uh you got a little something out of that and if not just keep going over it and it'll make more sense the more time you put into it uh i've gotten a lot out of the major pentatonic especially learning how to mix it with the minor pentatonic so hopefully you dig it uh right after this little thing though you'll see a landing page will be a link to a jam track that you can try all this stuff over i encourage you to do that that's just another uh free youtube video thanks again and i uh, can't wait to see you in another video real soon see ya Thank mm -hmm. you.